if you guys didn't know, something happened uh, at the Oscars. I'm still uh, waiting to find out. Do you guys, do you, you know, nobody knows what it is. Miracle. Anybody know what it I was? I heard something happened. Did Meryl Streep get another Oscar? She did. I uh, heard. Uh, did she that actually? He, no, I have no idea. Ah. Uh. I heard. <laughs> I was like, no way. That they mentioned a famous toy brand. I didn't hear that part. Uh, but what did happen uh, is, of course, that Will Smith. Uh, Smack the shit out of Chris Will Rock. Smith uh, uh, got real with with Chris Rock in mm -hmm. one of the funniest things that I've seen in a very long time. Funny, I mean, because of the immediate turnaround in his behavior, which was that he uh, he, um, he he was laughing at this joke. Uh, the joke, uh, whether you guys like it or not, uh, what did you guys think about it? Uh, Chris Rock called uh, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. Uh, he made a G.I. Jane joke. G.I. Jane was a, a Demi Moore movie mm -hmm. uh, where she's like, oh. uh, yes. Uh, My bad. I thought it was a toy company. Never mind. Like it was a toy line, like how GI Joe was. No, oh my no, God, dude. No, oh man, <laughs> that, that's that's it's the a, that's the best part of this segment is that Miracle had no idea what GI Jane was. That's I'm hilarious. Sorry, I, I was like, what the hell is she talking about the toys? GI, I just went right past it. I was like, I have no idea what she's <laughs> yeah, talking right. about. Uh, but anyways, so he made a joke about GI Jane, and he was Will Smith was laughing, and he immediately looks at his wife, who is very much not laughing, and then he goes from laughing dude. to being very angry, very fast. And gets up on stage and decides that um, violence was the answer tonight. Those two have massive Macbeth and Lady Macbeth vibes. Yes. Like, um, she's like, well, are you a man? And like, that's like what it sends him like. off to like mm -hmm. slap Chris Rock. So, in fact, before we get into the... So, basically, the article I went to play, I was like, everybody's talking about what happened. I want to talk about how Jake Paul is once again insinuating himself in the between families with struggles to make himself money. <laughs> I'm sure it's yeah. for the kids. For, he, this time, I'm sure it's the same thing. He's like, but Jay, or he's like, but Will and Chris, you've both got kids. Yeah. Do it for J Jaden and, and Willow. And I don't know what Chris Rock's kid. I'm sure Chris Rock has kids. I'm not sure. This will uh, help him out. Yes. So uh, I, one thing I did think was funny, however, was that, um, so his reaction, Will Smith's very, I guess, understandable, if not. Uh, inappropriate reaction to defend the honor of your wife, even though she has not done the most to like uh, show great honor to you in your marriage. I guess I can under I guess I can understand mm -hmm. that, but it's the fact that he just kind of it was kind of jump and then how high. Uh, but this is also did you see that earlier in the night somebody made a comment about their open marriage that she laughed at that he didn't think was very funny. Mm. So it says, Will and Jada Pinkett Smith react to Regina Hall's Oscars joke about their open marriage. Uh, it says, uh, good sports. Regina Hall made a joke at the expense of Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. I'm going to pause that. Uh, during the 2022 Oscars, uh, as the couple handled, uh, handle, and the couple handled it like champs. Uh, that's editorializing. From the way they describe it, I would say that Jada handled it like a champ because I, it doesn't make her look bad. But Will, because of how sensitive he is on the topic, uh, I think it absolutely uh, didn't, he, he didn't like it very much. So it says, the little star, 51, mentioned the A-list couple while, uh, while hosting the 2022 Oscars on Sunday, March 27th, during a bit where she said certain audience members COVID-19 tests had lost, uh, had been lost. Uh, Hall uh, called actors Bradley Cooper, Simu Liu, and Timothy Chalamet up to the stage, and it quickly beca became clear that the only people were uh, with allegedly missing tests were her single Hollywood crushes. And she says, Will Smith, you're married, but you're on the list. You're married, but you're on the list, she quipped. Looks like Jada approved it. Oh. <laughs> uh, and the, uh, it says the Magic Mike XXL actress, 50, laughed hysterically while her husband, 53, looked slightly embarrassed. Do we see a, a difference in reactions here between this joke and the joke about Jada? Is this fake? I don't think it's fake. I don't think. It's I think they're capitalizing on uh, on a re on something that actually happened. Miracle. I don't think it's fake. I think they actually wrote it. They're like, maybe we can get like some giggles, but then Jada is so. I think he's talking about the incident as a whole. Oh, directly. the incident? No, I don't. Th I was talking to our coworker Sarah. I don't think it's fake because how Jada reacted and then will like stop laughing right away, but the slap. Could be fake because, like, usually when you do a long slap like that, you're supposed to clap your hand. Guy, I think he, I think, how did, okay. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing about me. As we all know, 
I am the resident scientist in this compound. This yes, true. he is. And I am the resident scholar in this compound, and compound. I have the massive debt to prove it. Yep. Okay. Okay. She has a master's degree. Correct. Biggest mistake of my life. Mm -hmm. That aside, um, too real. <laughs> I love the idea of it being pro wrestling, and they're all like everyone just is becoming Vince McMahon. I just think that the fact that they were that? prodding all night, and man, like. I don't usually wear a tinfoil hat, but if you give me the chance, I'll strap it on, yeah. baby boy. And like, I saw a picture on Twitter that was like, possibly fake, but I'm going with it. Yeah. Where it seemed like Chris had something in the cheek. Yeah. To like protect his face. Right. And I'm telling you, if Will Smith is walking up to me at rapid speed after I talk shit about his wife, I'm gonna not stand there smiling. Uh, I think I'm uh, gonna be like, hey, dude, what's going on? Like, uh, I'm in the middle of a thing right now. I think he, I think the 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 instinct to stay there is because he's performing. So I think that he, I don't think he's going to move. Uh, I I do like that we're making this about uh, conspiracy rather than just talking about what happened. I love it. The uh, if it was planned, which I, again I don't think it was, making it so that they didn't have like a camera angle that's like switched to a side shot of Will walking up, which would have been like very clearly planned but there was a picture of him like with like talking to his handlers too yeah. like that could have been obviously because like he just slapped a man live on television it's uh, but just look at it, it says hall said beckoning will to join her up on stage uh, with the would-be suitors the oscar nominee however made a sheepish face and face and said but and but um, just, i'm just saying jada laughed at this joke he laughed at the joke about Jada, but then Jada was like, no, you're not allowed to jet laugh at the She's joke so about me. She's so vain but about Brent, her looks. I have more. Okay. I have more. Keep going. Okay. Every year, like, the ratings go down, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Every year. Yeah. Who is producing a new show? Well, yeah, Bel Air is coming out, right? Mm -hmm. Bel Air is coming out. I don't think. I, I again, I, I don't think this is. Um, I don't think it's planned. The the Academy gave him an Oscar and a comment after, and they were like, uh, "We wagged the finger at you, good sir." But yes. they, I don't think they took his uh, award away. No, they did not. I do want to point out that the reactions from celebrities has been very telling because, uh, first of all, let's uh, let's return to us the assumption that this wasn't planned and that they're not just. First of all, uh, there's an argument to be made that I don't know if Chris Rock is that good of an actor because of how well he played it off. Mm -hmm. um, maybe he plays off. Maybe it was planned and he plays off the slap. He wasn't as startled though. He was like, "Okay, yeah, that's something uh, like uh, Will I Smith have to go on after that." <laughs> it did, however, look like he was kind of holding back laughter when he was walking back to his seat. Will but he could also just be embarrassed about what he'd just done uh and i do want to point out that the, the i didn't i don't care about what he did whether it was real or not we'll never actually know uh i want to talk about how the what the response was mm. and the main response being jake paul insinuating yes. himself and making it somehow about him uh, about making money for himself good for him hey it's for the kids it's for the kids uh arnold Schwartz, they're saying logan paul and arnold schwarzenegger are urged to sign with will smith to their slap fighting championship mm -hmm. everyone's looking to cash in nice um it says fans are urging schwarzenegger and uh and logan paul to sign will smith to the slap fighting championship following his meltdown at the oscars uh, Hollywood megastar Smith uh, sent social media into a frenzy after storming out of the Oscar stage and slapping host Chris Rock three ways from Sunday. I added that last part mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, across the chops uh, as the comedian made a joke about Smith's wife. The joke. OK, so what it is, guys, if you're not familiar with the story, if you've been living under a rock, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith suffers from uh, a condition called alopecia, which mm. uh, causes hair loss. Um, I believe it's an autoimmune disorder. Mm -hmm. um, and it was the joke in poor taste sure yeah but, but that's these are comedy the, these are the people teaching us about tolerance and yeah. telling you that you're a bad person and that other people are evil so you know the uh, the answer to um a joke i don't like is not violence mm -hmm. the answer to the joke you don't like is take him out you know take him to another room backstage and yell at the dude do anything but get physically the fact that he wasn't removed from the show was the biggest was the most suspicious thing i saw that he wasn't taken off stage right that's uh, what i'm saying so, and like the response was like uh don't ever do that again it's uh, like come on alopecia activate uh advocate praises will smith's oscar slap showed strength i was amazed by how many people 
were like, "Good job! Violence is exactly the right answer to okay. uh, to physical vi- uh, to to jokes." I'll remember that. Will Smith was just defending his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, during Sunday evening's Oscar ceremony. But for some who share the same medical condition, they felt protected too. That is weird. If you, that's weird. I, I, I that's weird to me. Like they f- felt protected too. He wasn't protecting you. If if Will Smith saw you getting made fun of, he wouldn't stop for two seconds to help you. Maybe. Why don't uh, he just slaps people just around that dead. talk shit about There was a alopecia. great there was a great meme that says uh Amy Amy Schumer uh um She's terrified no it says Amy Schumer now terrified at the possibility of uh slaps coming for people who tell bad jokes. <laughs> 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 um so it, it's like uh the, and really what is what's happened is like it's it's just more memes. He's just going to be a meme again and uh, in a lot of ways I feel bad for Will Smith because he's been totally kind of uh deg you know degraded down to this he just looks like a dude who's been who's fed up right right but at the same time he was laughing like two seconds before until his wife made the notion that he shouldn't be laughing anymore this is an like this is one of those rare scenarios where i'm like no bad no press is bad press i just i i i, I, I struggled wanting to cover this today because i just okay so what are you saying now uh no pre- so you think that any press is good press for him uh, I mean, there is such a thing as bad press. Like, yes. I think that usually that saying is like pretty dumb. Mm-hmm. However, I think this is one of those situations where there's not ramifications coming from this. It doesn't no, seem not as at all. Yeah. So, what did this do beyond pull Will Smith in the limelight? It well, made the Oscars relevant again for the first time in saying. a decade. Yeah. I kind of see where you're getting at and like um, some people in the comments. So if you go into bounding into comments, the one where they interviewed Tiffany Haddish, some people in the comments said the script continues. And yep. then some people are like, um, Will Smith, Haddish, Chris Rock, the rest. It feels so downtown, you know, BLM, Antifa, riots, violence, streets, name, element, um, Martha Luther King, crack dealers. And, and that's just at the, basically academy awards where they're like celebrating everything they always clean it up Mm -hmm. and they're like your boy zach was right it's time to say goodbye to hollywood marvel dc and just go on your own way yep it says uh, this is back because it's just dying out uh, yeah, it's the last gasp mm-hmm. of a dying industry or a dying aspect of the industry. I wouldn't Thank say God, the dying industry. Honestly. Uh, yeah. So this says uh, this is back to the the um, alopecia activist. Uh, it says the 29 year old reality star. Uh, her name is uh, Zaralina Jackson. Uh, so she suffers from the same condition, which I understand. Like especially for women, probably even more than men, it must be extremely hard to deal with right. uh, mental health wise. But it says the 29-year-old reality star told SWNS uh, that uh, while she doesn't advocate for violence, Rock 57 should have known better. He should have known better than to tell a joke and expect to not get hit by Will Smith at the Oscars. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's been some way worse jokes said at the Oscars. I think it's inappropriate to make any joke about someone with alopecia as it's a condition that highly impacts mental health. Again, I hate to be like the bear. Uh, I hate to be this guy, but a joke is a joke. Uh, I don't think that I think a lot of people take the world too seriously. Yes. It's like if I got angry every time somebody made a short joke, I would be nothing but angry. I am sure. But you just have to learn to to laugh sometimes yeah. i mean the 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 couple that like airs their dirty laundry like every month yeah they put it into the if you put it out into the like, world how is alopecia yep. the, like the thing that gets you uh, my favorite comment was the one that said man that's gonna hurt me till august exactly yeah, yeah. So. well my question is like why is everybody so sensitive you know humor heals everything so like yeah she's suffering through something that women get it um i believe alopecia a lot of women get it because it's due to stress and then also genetic um, mutations too. But again, like it, it was a terrible joke. She, the yeah, joke she was, was kind of funny. I, I, it was kind of funny a little bit, <laughs> I mean, but like, I don't know why it offended her so much. She looks good bald. She should have just embrace it and then like make a whole thing out of it. Go like, yeah, I'm, I will sell know- this into this, my, um, into my name now. I want these people to tell me what you can joke about then. 
You can't joke mm. about anything. That's what I'm saying. Well, no. Humor is dead. I'm asking for an actual answer. I'm what, on the is, list. what? What's? What are you? Will, okay, so you can't make fun of uh, of anybody that doesn't look exactly like you. You can't make fun of people with conditions that aren't life threatening but can cause uh, some type of problem with your mental health. Uh, that's most mm -hmm. people have a condition like that these days. It feels like, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you know, for whatever that is. Um, you're not allowed to make so basically the only people you're allowed to make fun of are people with absolutely 110 percent what perfect lives so because like theoretically the person who has uh, a life that is unmarred by any type of struggle or pain would somehow uh, be able to just laugh it off well that's not the real world in the real world uh, despite the struggle you have to learn how to laugh these things off and this is just not the case with when mm -hmm. this happens but I was surprised by there was a fairly mixed bag as far as what people thought because I was thinking it was going to be either one wonder I thought people were going to either be totally okay with it or totally against it but it seems like people are pretty all over the place uh, and says uh, this person says this uh, is fat fab feminist on Twitter <clears throat> <clears throat> Um, defending his wife okay, and, and winning best actor in the span of an hour. Yeah, Will Smith won. And then the next tweet says, this is exactly what happened. And the question is, why is it acceptable? Will Smith should be held accountable for assault and violence against another. Unforgivable. <laughs> I uh, love this person. He wrote a whole script. Like It's like a basically a cliff notes what happened. Almost too many layers to... Um, to the moment of the slap so will and jada stuff will laughing and then overcompensating overcompensating thank you i can't word right now um will feeling okay it's just funny because it just leads because like um if you read his apology that he gave to the academy it wasn't really an apology mm -hmm. he was just ranting about his role and, and I also think that some of these on the other side are over the top, too. It mm -hmm. says, it's not funny or acceptable or honorable or manly. Will Smith's attack over a joke was unhinged and violent and a crime. Assault. I mean, yes, but unhinged, he just, dude reacted badly. I kind of agree with every side. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I, I this is a weird example where I see this, I, I see it from every perspective. It says, yeah, there's another too. one from June Paul says, uh, I used to have so much respect for Will Smith, but physical assault is not acceptable under any circumstances. Absolutely classless. On one hand, she is absolutely right. Physical assault is absolutely not acceptable. On the other hand, not I on any circumstance. I, 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 on the other hand, I don't think Will Smith cares about the respect of normie, uh, of, of people on Twitter. Like, or at least he shouldn't. Yeah, he does. He shouldn't. What? Will Smith? You don't think so? I'm saying that they they, they shouldn't need to. Like, uh, right. they, it's this weird camp that people are in now where they go on Twitter to uh, to announce how they no longer have respect for someone as if uh, that person should care. I don't know. I just feel like, Jada, like, if your looks bother you so much, why did you go to the Academy Awards just oh. being bald? I get it. It's because of your health condition. But if what I think she also just I think she also decided not to sit in the front row to avoid. Mm -hmm. Well, if she was so like scared about what people were saying, when you just wear a wig like normal people. I think that's an insensitive take. Uh, right. I think that's a fairly no, insensitive take. I know it's insensitive, but like still like you're so afraid and you got offended by this joke. Why don't you just wear a wig? Wouldn't that be worse? It wouldn't be worse that, if they couldn't the tell. Wig? Well, you can't I'm tell sure now. She can I'm sure she can afford uh, like the best that money can buy. Yeah, I, again, you can't like, tell now if a wig is real hair or not. Like because people know how to like fix the wig caps to make it look like natural hair that's actually growing from your scalp. I don't understand. Like I know it sounds really rude and mean of me to say it, but again, if you're so vain about your looks, why don't you just be ten? and shrug it off it's also weird to me that uh that the the oscars then had to deny like first of all they they say that we don't support violence of any sort and then he wins the and then he's allowed to win the award i don't care about that <laughs> that's what i'm saying but it's like it's this weird like it was almost it, it, i believe it was real but if it wasn't it's like this per it, it's this perfect uh storm of like every side makes sense mm -hmm. like right. i don't even like having this conversation because it's the most fence sitter i'm like yes I get why you'd hit somebody for taking your wife. On the other hand, uh, time and place. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, he was wrong. On the other hand, he was right. I, I have no idea. Like, I, I'm not adding anything substantial. Mm -hmm. I was just kind of amazed at how even keel the comments were from celebrities about uh, whether he was uh, in the right or not. Mm -hmm. At least we got a new meme template. Well, yep. I know she's very vain about her hair because like there's another article where it talks about how she dealt with her hair loss over the mm -hmm. years. And she said at the time I um, 
at the time she held her tears back and said i've been having issues with hair loss it was so t it was terrifying when i first when it first started i took a shower one day and a handful of hair was in my hand oh yeah. he also says he wants to be a vessel for love i forgot about yeah. that but i think he said trying to be a vessel one could argue that he's saying i'm not perfect but i'm trying my best i can understand that like i said uh he, he I don't know. I'm not I'm actually not mad that he did it. I'm mad that he wasn't treated like everyone else when he did it Like yeah. he could do that make the mistake be escorted out Maybe he still wins and they allow him back to give his speech and he apologizes But it was like a very long non-apology apology. Yeah, uh, and he didn't apologize to Chris. He, he apologized to to the Academy mm -hmm. I mean, what's the rule for vessels of love slapping people? I don't really know. I don't know. I think uh, it's different. justice because you're making fun of alopecia for yeah. love yeah it says uh yeah i just i'm over it i, I just i only covered this today mm -hmm. because it felt like we had to but guys i'm sure whoever you are your opinion is already made up about whether what he did was right what he did was wrong whether jada uh dessert ha had this coming to her because you feel like she mistreated him mm -hmm. uh whether he had it coming to him because he hasn't had the strength to uh to extricate himself from his situation let us know in the comments because we have no idea Idea what you actually think that's uh, yeah. like everybody's gonna have their own opinion but for me it's like hollywood i i take the um godzilla route and say let them fight exactly yes. let them fight Let's but also fight. jada why are you for the kids nikki glazer says open relationships mm -hmm. seem healthy yeah, <laughs> yeah but again jada why are you so vain about your looks you look good bald dude i don't know just I rock it I, I don't know what you think she's being vain like if you lost your hair i bet you'd be freaking out yep I, no i actually want to shave my hair like okay well off. that's a personal decision it, it, and it would have been like I, in my, my i'm not even necessarily mad that she gave will that death stare i'm mm -hmm. mad that he didn't handle it better yeah, yeah. Like, like what do you want me to do yeah go mm -hmm. slap chris rock mm -hmm. somebody else made the joke that like <laughs> tupac would have shot him like because she, yeah. she knew tupac so mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah so like yeah, I, I, I like when he's like yeah. So well, for uh, me, the reason why I'm like picking on Jada because like again, it wasn't like really Will's fight, and like she got upset at her husband laughing at a joke that was pointed at her. I don't know. For me, I'm like <laughs> he kind of showed up at the academy like that. You know, they're gonna write stupid jokes like that. Here's a joke: that says Chris Chris Rock's behavior was disgusting. If you did the oh, same thing anywhere in England, you would be expecting to be punched. Nobody feels the slightest bit sorry for him. Uh, this guy is 110 percent wrong. Uh, he made a joke in a segment. So, so we had Hannah Claire on here the other day, and she mm -hmm. was just like, "Why do they even tell jokes in an age where jokes and humor are dead, yeah. where you're not allowed to be funny anymore yeah, for in that fear crowd. of hurting someone, especially people with egos the size of celebrities? Why even bother trying to tell jokes? Mm -hmm. They should just get the lady that did the Nanette. They should do. What's that. her name? Wait, what? Mm. You know that like. Mm frumpy looking lady that, I don't know. Like, you tell me dog like, that's like stand up she's from australia oh. which one Ooh, i don't know it's called the net i don't know the name don't sass me what do you mean? like I, which one you've been you've been sassed my friend you've been I, sassed. I, I didn't there mean to you. give you sass you, you don't even know all right i didn't mean to give you sass i'm you just get, like really upset that do either of you happened. have any thoughts uh left on the situation because i really am covering it out of the bare nature to the the need to like cover it because it's the most pop culture relevant thing today but to me it's just an absolute mess and that's all there really is to say I, about hannah gatsby hannah gatsby okay okay but no i was really hoping will would have been better are you okay yes uh okay go ahead go ahead i'm so scared no, I, I had a, i had i had something come to my mind yeah i wish he was like the better man and just like later when the academy awards was over pull chris rock to the side and go like hey i didn't really like that joke and my wife is like really she's gonna like complain to me about this later <laughs> can, you, can you not like joke about that like yep. she's very sensitive about her alopecia right now yep. um that would have been the the best way to handle because it. like legit i'm like re-watching like fresh prince of bel-air like clips on youtube and i see like how humble this guy was yep. but now he's not that humble i wish he was a little bit more humble he was like the bigger man which he is literally see i'm gonna make this about me Mm -hmm. I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> let's okay. Uh, we had a comment a while back where somebody's like, uh, they're like, uh, I think you guys are nice enough, uh, but I just don't know if you're really adding much to the conversation. This is a perfect example where I'm like, I don't think I have anything to add to the conversation. Well, let's move I don't, on then. I don't have any beautiful insights. 
I just have that, you know, it's celebrity on celebrity violence. I don't really care. I think it's fake, and that's my insight, and I think it's... It might be fake. Brave and bold. It might be frankly. fake, because legit, I wanted them to, like, zoom in more, because I want to see if, like, he smacked his own hand instead of the cheek. No, nah, he but smacked him in the cheek. Well, like, no, have you ever taken um, Acting 101? No. Oh, okay. So acting one. What you haven't? <laughs> I'm just born this way. Okay, so acting one on one. If you do like slapping like that, but you don't want to actually hurt the person, you basically go closer and then pretend you smacked him. Like you can't tell. Like so in the video, Will does this where his basically his left hand is like beneath. He didn't ha have any exposed skin for it to make that sound. He had a, a suit on. I well no no no. You can clap. It makes the same sound effect if you hit a cheek. That's what I'm trying to get at. Were both his hands up when he did that? I don't think they were both up no, when he did um, that. No, later, like, when he does the follow-through, his left arm goes, like, here, and then... Yeah. Oh, I don't Yeah, know. that's why well, I wanted him to zoom... Like, I wanted people to zoom in so I can analyze it more because that's a weird, like, acting tip where, like, you don't want to hurt somebody, so you pretend to smack them, but you slap your own hands. I think Chris Rock handled it like a champ. Yeah. I think Chris Rock handled it like a champ. So that is, that is my take on it. Dane thinks it's fake. Uh, I think Dane, you know, I, I think that for person. the most part, there's no winners in this. Chris mm -hmm. Rock maybe comes out looking like a slightly better person for telling a, a very, like, what I believe to be um, basic joke and then being totally... I need someone to take Jake Paul on this on these offers. Yes. So we <laughs> I hope it's us. I okay. hope we one day we okay, have so Dave here and it's like Brett and Dane, fifty yeah. million dollars. Okay, so <laughs> so basically, do you want Jake Paul to throw the fight? Wait, is always. It, have the fight? I always want it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I always want him. Okay. I don't know. I just want to see like real fist fight. I want to see blood. Okay. Okay. One second. <laughs> We're gonna move on. Uh, just because uh, I have nothing else to say to that. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.